What's going on this morning? Welcome back. Welcome to LogFurnitureHowTo.com, where we teach you everything there is to know about how to make your own log furniture. Today, we're going to jump right back into the park project, the big benches, all those benches for the city park. We got some started right here. We're going to pick up right where we left off, which includes getting our first run of paint on the first set of six. So let's get over here and get the day started, man. Welcome back. <laughs> Hey, check it out. We just had a uh, customer walk-in order for a five and a half foot mantle. That's pretty cool. Cool way to get the day, way to get the day started. That just means we got to get out there and cut a mantle. <laughs> but that's what we do here. We're making commemorative fire blocks. Our CNC machine this morning. Our X cars from Invenable. So we're working on some projects for Territory Days. I've got Alex here. He's going to be working on the blocks. Let's go and look at this thing carbon. So we make and sell these little gift boxes at our summer shows, and that's what we're set up to do right now. We're carving some of those out over there. So we'll carve these out, put hinges on them. A load of logs we were cutting yesterday, it's about ready to go to the kiln. You can see here, that stuff's coming out. Ours is going in next. And the whole time that's going on, the CNC is in here working away. So we're getting our stack set up to go over to the kiln. This takes a second. Alright, so we're headed right over here to the kiln. Right in here. Started up and running. Let's see how the CNC is doing. So let's get over here and take a look and see how this did. Let's turn it off. Take a look at this. See if you can... So we just carved that into a little piece of wood we have left over. Start making stuff for our, ter for our territory days and summer shows we've got coming up. Summer art shows and craft fairs. We'll probably put something like this over here. <laughs> Alright, so now you can see we've got it set up to make these blocks. And we're just cutting these blocks down right over here. Cutting them into these. So yeah, man, I just thought it was another creative way we came up with to use some of this kiln-dried Colorado wildfire wood. Pop.
So this is what we'll carve. It's the Waldo Canyon. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the little commemorative logo we came up with after the 2012 Waldo Canyon fire over here in the neighborhood. So we're all right, so we're gonna let that thing keep carving. We're gonna get over here and paint some steel legs. Big deal to you, dude. First time this year, 2016, when I got a full painter. Check that. Got it. That was a lot of fun. Let's get in here and get this stuff cleaned up. We'll do it again. That's where it starts. Get those, those will dry overnight and we'll paint the second coat in the morning. And then we'll get started on these tomorrow afternoon. And process going until we get the order filled. We got a place to store those once they're painted and we'll be working on the logs. Well, start tomorrow. <laughs> Let's head on over here. We'll check out that last block we carved and then I think we're going to call it a day. Oh yeah, man, that one looks cool. So we'll be carving these out a whole lot more with our CNC machine over the next couple weeks. You'll get to see that in action some more. As always, I appreciate you taking time to watch today. Tell at least two of your friends tonight about what I'm doing over here. Have them come find me on Snapchat. Drop any questions you've got. Leave them here for me, man, and I'll get to them. We'll answer all your questions. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. <laughs>